Hey there folks, I got another tutorial for you today for Fusion 360. Today I'm going to be making a holiday ornament. So this one's going to be a hollow globe that we're going to be 3D printing. And so what we're doing with this, we're going to be making a solid sphere and hollowing it out and then I'm going to show you how to use the circular pattern tool to make whatever kind of pattern you want in it. So there's pretty much an unlimited amount of possibilities you could do with this. So let's make a new one. I'm going to make it similar to this, but obviously the next one's not going to be exactly identical. So I'm going to start with a new design. Obviously I'm going to start with a sketch, a two-dimensional sketch. doesn't really matter which plane you pick. Let's pick the front one. This is the one that corresponds to the front face here. And I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to start right on the origin point here. And let's make this, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This doesn't need to be too big. I'm going to start with 30 millimeters wide. Okay. Now I'm going to do a lot of things all in the same sketch. Quite often you'll see me finishing a sketch once I'm done with one shape. This time I'm going to make a few more adjustments to the sketch. So I also want to make a little, uh, like a little top to it. This is going to be a part of the sketch as well. So to do this, I'm just going to make a rectangle, and I'm just going to start somewhere up here and drop it down here. The important part is it needs to uh, go over top of the whole circle, like the whole bottom of your rectangle here should cover the whole circle. And I want this globe to actually be hollow, so before I do anything else to this, I'm going to make another circle pretty close to the other one. That was 30 millimeters, so I want to give it a 2 millimeter thick wall thickness. So if I go 26 millimeters for this one, that should be 2 millimeters here and 2 millimeters on that side. Now, I'm going to use this trim tool here. If you can't see this, you might need to just make your whole screen wider, and it's under the Modify tab, so there's Trim. And with the Trim tool, I'm going to take out any line that doesn't need to be there. So that one, that one, that one. Uh, oh, actually I forgot a step. I need to make one more line down the middle here. This is important. And make sure that it actually covers more than your whole shape. So go right down the middle. Why aren't you moving? There we go. And now trim off everything on the left side. We don't need any of that. You can trim out this middle line here too. And let's trim that part there. So what you should be left with is a half circle with one little block up top. If you got that, now we're ready to finish the sketch. Now what I want to do with this shape, this is the profile that I'm going to revolve. So I'm using this revolve tool. If you don't see it up here, you might need to go under the create one and you find revolve here. So if the profile didn't select itself, then you need to select it. So now it's unselected. I'm going to select it again. Make sure it says one selected. And then we need to select the axis it's revolving around. That's going to be that extra long line that we drew. So click that extra long line. All right. And just make sure that you're going all the way 360 degrees around. If you don't want to do that, I mean, this could be kind of fun too, to only go, say, 180 degrees around. And now you would get like a half sphere. This could be a fun project too. I'm going to do the whole one, so I'm just going to right click down here in the history, edit this feature, and just make sure that it goes all the way around. So I'm just going to go full. Right. Now I'm going to hit the home button again just to get back to the same spot. Okay, so now at this point, this is a fairly generic sphere that we can do pretty much anything with. I'm going to start with the simplest of things. Let's make another sketch. You need to pick one of these two planes in here. So let's pick this one. Let's start with something real simple, like I'm going to just make a few circles around here. I'm going to go off center up top and yeah, six millimeters, why not? Doesn't really matter. And finish that sketch. Now, you can kind of see we've got that circle inside our globe there. We can't really see what's going on. If you're having trouble clicking on that circle to extrude it, you can always turn off this body. So if you just hit that I button there, your whole body disappears for a sec. So I want to extrude this circle, and I want to cut it out of my shape. doesn't really matter how far you pull it. Just make sure that the operation is cutting here, and hit OK. So now we've got one hole coming out. Awesome. Now what I want to do is make a whole bunch of these, but I don't want to have to do that over and over again. I want to create a pattern. So I'm going to do a circular pattern. And this is important here. If this menu doesn't show up, it might look like this. You need to click on that to open it up. 
we're going to be patterning a feature. A feature is a weird thing. So a face is like a two-dimensional face like your sketch. A body is a three-dimensional body like the globe that we have here. A feature is something different, you know? It'd be like saying the whole of the donut. We're going to eat the whole of the donut today. So what we're going to be doing is making a feature of this non-existent hole right here. And it's kind of hard to actually select the feature sometimes. Uh, no, still haven't got it. There it is, right there. So you need to actually like hit the edge of it to select it. And I need to revolve this around that green axis there. And then it prompts you to say, how many of these patterns do you want? Let's make, say, I don't know, 12. And hit Enter. Ooh. Now that looks pretty neat. Except the circles are kind of cutting into each other. Yeah, I don't really like that. So I like this, but I want to edit it. So I think maybe what I should do, I could either make the circles smaller, or I could make less of them. So if I wanted to make less of them, I would go into the, rev uh, the pattern uh, down here in the history. I would edit that feature. Instead of making 12, I don't know, let's make 8. See how that looks. Ah, that looks better. Sure. If I'd want to undo that, I can just hit Control Z, and I got 12 again. And if I want to, say, make those circles smaller, I can edit this sketch and add a sketch dimension to this circle here. And instead of 6, let's go 4 millimeters, hit Enter, finish the sketch. Now watch what happens. Everything that happened later on in the history all follows afterwards. So that's pretty cool. Let's keep those circles. Let's do a little something else. Let's make another sketch. And we'll do it on this plane here. Doesn't really matter which one. And this time, I'm going to make a, ooh, a fit point spline. Now, I can't really see my sketch plane because this ball's in the way. So I'm going to just turn that off for a second. And so I want to do this fit point spline somewhere down here. I'm going to make some kind of a weird thing. I don't know yet. I haven't quite planned this out. Do that, to there, to there, and close that off. Whatever, some kind of squiggly line. Finish the sketch. Uh, let's turn that body back on. Now let's extrude that part, and I'm going to revolve, just re uh, rotate my part around here. I'm holding shift as I'm doing this. Uh, you can also rotate around your part by clicking on any part of the box here, if you don't know that. so. I'm going to pull this out so that it's coming out of my shape. Hit OK. Neat. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to keep going with it. And now, once again, I'm going to make another pattern, circular pattern. This one is a feature. And that's the one. And I want to go revolve around that green axis again. Uh, it's hard to hit that green axis through the ball. So it's easy if you go through one of these holes here. There we go. Uh, probably 12 would be too many of this shape. Well, why not? Let's see what happens. Okay. There's a good reason why not, because the bottom part of my part is going to fall off. That's not going to work. So let's edit that. Maybe let's do 6 instead. Let's see how that looks. Cool. All right. So do you get the idea? What we're doing is basically just extruding out shapes and making a pattern of them. This whole exercise is just basically getting familiar with the pattern tool and the revolve tools. So we're almost done. The only thing that's left is we need to hang this, you know, put some kind of hole in here for a, a clip to hang it. So I'm going to make a sketch on this top up here. And the last hole I did didn't work all that well, but I'm going to try it again. Let's go for, I'm going to make an ellipse. And I'm going to make this ellipse, let's say, 3 millimeters off the side, somewhere over here. And let's make it, say, that big by, I don't know, that big. This might be too big of a hole. We'll find out. And I'm going to make one more line here on that green line. And we'll see why in just a quick second. And hit that check mark. And finish the sketch. And then I'm going to revolve this shape around that line that I just made. Now this one is joining it. That's an option that we can do. So you could uh, hang it like that. We could also cut the shape away 
No target body found to... What? Oh, you're a liar. We're going to go all the way through. Yeah, there we go. So now we've actually cut that part out. Now we've got a flat face that we can print this whole thing on, which is going to make it work a little better. So option one or option two, they both work. You either need to have a hook, like a loop up top, or some kind of like an inverted loop inside. Let's hit the home button and see how it looks. Oh, it's beautiful. I actually kind of prefer this one. But to each their own. It's a Christmas ornament. Sorry, holiday ornament. Uh, you can't really mess this up, except if you do what I did and uh, cut the whole bottom part off. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one. It's not the most polished video. Thanks for watching till the end. And I hope you learned how to use the Revolve tool and the circular pattern.